<laughs> okay. In, in anything that I ever say, I'm always looking at the embryo or the cell as a motif. So what we see in the cell is a, an incredible shifting of fluid play from gel, semi-solid, to sol, which is liquid. So in the semi-solid, that is a, it's like an inhale. So it is a consolidation in time. This is how the cell breathes. And then in sol, the, the structure changes and, 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 uh, of the cell. The, the uh, structure changes and the cell is resonating with other fields of intelligent life and then it comes back into gel. So you follow that? So that's a respiratory <coughs> model. It's also a yin-yang model and it's a model of, of the flow of anchoring expanding into a broader band and then anchoring back again so that there's that that replenishment that takes place. Do you, do you understand? Mm -hmm. yeah. I have to just yeah. stop for a moment and just tell you this one thing. I was married to Gary David who taught epistemics, which, have, which is how knowledge gets created. Very interesting. Um, anyway, in epistemics, they, they use this perception, which is brilliant. So I just need to make this point. Okay, they, they talk about um, uh, adaptability as, as um, additive change, which is like a tool. Additive. A tool mm -hmm. or structural change, which is the whole cosmology of the system. So it is my, it is my um, allegiance to the integrity of the system to be in concert with its fundamental language. In other words, the struct this is not an additive change. It's not like a new trick. It's that the system really does undergo a structural shift. And, you're, and the, the expression of the embryo is, is a fundamental language. This is the, when, you, when you're coming into the earth plane, you're in a spiral. You spiral out of the, the uh, birth canal. So, and what gets very interesting, if something happened, to you that was less than perfect in that spiral, it can get filled in now. Right. So we're not stuck with whatever it is that we're stuck with. That, that when we enter that, that level of spiral, that whatever, it, the, the system is always seeking unity. So, so that's that, okay? So we're good? All right, so that as the system becomes more refined, the, uh, and the, um, meaning as it's less compressed, less dense, etc., that the liquid crystalline composition of the system becomes equally refined. So crystal, where, uh, your whole body is composed of liquid crystalline. And it's a yin-yang uh, uh, scenario. My feeling is that the crystalline aspect becomes more refined so that we're able to hear, you know, not the noxious sounds of, you know, my least favorite sound are the hon honking of horns in New York. I think they should be, I, they should be banned of what they do. That's just terrible. But anyway, uh, but in our quietness, uh, being able to hear the more refined capacity of of what the frequencies are. I just know that in the developmental phase of the organism is increased refinement, and that means that the communication connection is, is, is that as well. So I just want to say to you that all of the um, uh, electronic means that we're using to, are you there, are you there, are you there, is a displacement of, of our capacity to develop that broader band here. So just saying. Okay, so that's in a way I wanted to, you know, be. I want to walk carefully down this meadow uh, to um, to introduce the different elements. So.